Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, today we're going to be exploring the taco capital of America. Yes, the taco capital of America. So now where is it? Would it be like Texas? Maybe Los Angeles? Southern California? Maybe Arizona? Believe it or not, Kansas City. Yes, Kansas City has been nominated, awarded, and labeled the taco capital of America. It, I was surprised as you were. Anyway, so what we are going to do is we're going to go venture the taco trail. What is the Taco Trail? So the Taco Trail is a list of taco restaurants all around Kansas City. There's about 50 different restaurants, and the more of these restaurants you eat at, the more prizes you can get, the higher the tiers you can get. So if you eat at five locations, you get an award. If you eat at like 15, so on, so on, to you know, officially complete the Taco Trail. So we are gonna have one day, just a few hours, to eat as many tacos as we can, yes. This is gonna be a full day of eating tacos and at many restaurants as possible, guys. Again, the goal, I mean, the goal is 50. Is it gonna happen? We're gonna find out. So we're gonna go eat as, at as many taco restaurants as we can. So let's go have fun, let's eat some food. And like we said, guys, the taco capital of America. I love tacos, I love Mexican cuisine. So with that, let's go eat and let's go have some fun. Alrighty, everyone, so it's super windy out, super crazy day, but our first stop is gonna be Taqueria's Seven Linguas. So this is on a Central Ave. This is one of the downtown locations. So like I said, we're gonna hop on in and we're gonna basically say, what's the one taco I gotta try? And let's see what they say. All right, we made it in. So again, the first stop, so Taqueria Siete Linguas, or the Taqueria of Seven Leagues, Seven Leagues Taquerias. So, looks really good. Um, I went with their El Pastor. This is the one that they recommended. I said, hey, what's one taco? We gotta try this, is what they said. Definitely nice and hot. Um, so we got cilantro, a savoya. I'll put a little lemon on it. It is a double, double tortilla going on there. I also have their salsas, a salsa verde and a salsa roja. But let's give it a bite. I'm definitely excited, so let's see what this is all about. Mm. Honestly, that is an amazing flavor. I gotta say, um, it really, really reminds me of kind of the street tacos I get in Mexico. So this is definitely, I would say, an authentic, authentic, authentic street taco. Um, you really don't need any salsa or anything. It is perfect just the way it is. Uh, that being said, I will put a little bit of maybe their salsa rojo on it just to try it. They do make it here, but I gotta say, this is phenomenal. Definitely, like I said, really good. The, just that nice salt, that flavor. But uh, let's try it with the salsa. Give it a bite. Mm. It has a little bit of heat to it, but it's super, super nice, super, super balanced. I'm very impressed. And just really compliments kind of, again, that salt, that those flavors, those peppers, guajillo peppers, already in the El Pastor. So I like it. Good old, let's say authentic Mexican street salt taco. So that was awesome guys, seven league tacos first, like a great way to start off the day. I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, guys, so many tacos in such a short amount of time. This is freaking awesome. So let's uh, grab this spot and keep on trucking. All right, so here at El Pollo Gustave, or Gust Gustave? I think that's how it's pronounced. So um, they do uh, like chickens, like it's El Pollo. They do half and full. So we're gonna buy a half chicken and then I'll make some tacos from it and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna try the first of our car tacos. Again, they do the chicken. So I got a chicken and made some tacos myself. So I got half chicken, it was like nine bucks, super affordable. Um, so I got the lovely pickled onions on it. We have their house-made salsa. I have their, of course, delicious looking roast chicken. They also gave me a jalapeno. I love these roast jalapenos. So let's give this taco a bite. Probably get some jalapeno action in there too. So here we go. Mm. Juicy and big tortillas. Cop that little bit of jalapeno. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mm. So I absolutely really like that chicken. It's like, a, you know, pollo carbon, kind of, you know, fire cooked chicken. It's a light seasoning, I will say, very, very light seasoned. The uh, pickled onions are delicious, nice, crisp. Mm. Nice, just a little bit of acidity, a little bit acid. And the salsa is basically like a pico, like a house salsa. 
it's super fresh. The jalapeno definitely adds a nice bite to it. Just a little like, you know, a little more flavor in there, but I really like it. Of course, the kid also came with rice and beans and stuff, so you can add those on if you want. But uh, yeah, I like this. Just very simple, basic chicken taco. Next stop, we are outside Supermart El Torito 2. So here they not only have a supermarket and a grocer, but they also have a taqueria, which is our next stop on the taco trail. So they definitely have a really big menu. I mean, they have all kinds of tacos, of course. And then, you know, quesadillas, burgers, and everything. But that being said, we got our asada taco. This is what they recommended. This is their favorite. So I'm gonna go with the house favorite. I also got a little bit of the favorite. This is their avocado salsa verde. I got some of my favorite, the pickled jalapenos. I think they have a uh, habanero salsa up there. I might go grab as well. But uh, they also gave me some chips, which I appreciate. So let's dive into this just momentarily. It is a uh, like a little bit more of the smaller style street taco. I call it a palm size. Um, double tortilla, so let's get a rocket. Taco number three. I'm definitely excited. So we had pork so far, we had chicken. Now we got beef. Good portion of meat on it. Onion, cilantro, I'm gonna try it just by itself and then I'll maybe add some salsa. Oh God. All right, that is awesome, guys. That beef is so rich. It has a really nice fat content, super tender, just melt in your mouth. The um, little bit of that like onion flavor is, is oh man, like, I love, they actually, having the big pieces of onions is a real addition. I, uh, I, d I just put some of the uh, salsas on it as well. And I'm definitely excited, guys. That first bite was absolutely fantastic. Nice salt, nice flavor. Really just like super offending Mexican. I gotta say, like all of these tacos are just absolutely bringing me back to, you know, across the border. And I love it. So let's give this bite a go. Oh man, oh, 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 oh. wow, wow everybody. All right, I gotta say, that was amazing. Guys, this little avocado salsa is so fresh, just adds a nice cream and it's not very thick, it's very thin. A little bit of this like habanero salsa, just a little bit of that bite. With a little more salt, a little bit of acidity from that pickled jalapeno with that fatty beef, that onion. Guys, this is, this is up there for, I mean, I mean, I've only had three, but this is a freaking high ranking taco. So in a market, absolutely, I would recommend. All right, and then almost across the street, just down the street from El Torito, the two, here we have the El Torito Grill. So it is the same, company, like, you know, same parent company, but it's a different restaurant. They do have a different menu, a different, um, you know, we'll say specialization here being grilled items. So this is another spot on the taco trail. So we're gonna go and give this place another bite. I'm gonna go on in, do the same thing. Say, hey guys, what's your best taco? Give me your one and uh, let's have another delicious taco. Oh, so look at this guy. Similarly here, they have a bar, but here they have habaneros. They got onions, they got salsas, they got roasted onions, roasted jalapenos. Wow, guys, this looks so delicious. Look, some more of these salsas. Oh, I bet that's that same delicious salsa. Woo, I am so excited. All right, so we got inside. They said their favorite, and their recommendation was the El Pastor. So we got the El Pastor, guys. What I am so excited for, and I cannot believe, Look at this, guys, on this freaking grill, like I said, the freaking fried, uh, or grilled, grilled jalapenos, I guess, with some kind of a, ooh, kind of like a tahini style spice on it. Also, look at this onion, guys, the grilled onion. That looks awesome. They also, they, this is so far the best accompaniment bar. Like, that, they had the variety of salsas. I got a bit of a uh, salsa verde. Some of this really, like, nice light green avocado. I think it's avocado salsa I had the other place. This is a guajillo salsa. And then they literally had just straight onions and habaneros. So I'm gonna try that as well. I'm gonna try the first bite just by itself. I'm gonna try with all these accompaniments. But this looks awesome, guys. Again, we're talking that palm-sized little street taco. 
El Pastor, so a seasoned pork, cilantro, onions, two tortillas. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Everybody, that is a game changer. Just like at the El Torito Market, guys. The meat is so, so, so juicy. This is literally some of the juiciest tacos I've ever had. Probably the juiciest El Pastor. That's just absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, lime on it. I'm gonna put some, well, I'm I can't really put this onion or jalapeno on it, but I'm gonna put some of these uh, habaneros and this onion on it. And then I'm also gonna put some of these salsas. I'll try the Verde, that was the uh, the gentleman's favorite. So like I said, I'm super excited for this bite. Honestly, one of the best, if not the best El Pastores I've ever had. And guys, that's saying a lot. I've been, I've been to quite a few places eating a lot of El Pastor. So again, habaneros with all the salsa, and uh, which, actually just the salsa Verde to be specific. I'm gonna load up, I do love salsas, but try this and I'm gonna also bite this onion. Oh my gosh. Delicious, that seasoning on it. Gonna bite the jalapeno. I'm gonna bite this. Not bad. So super, super delicious still nonetheless. But I'm gonna be honest with you. That El Pastor taco, the first bite was so perfect in it that I think this, the, even just the flavor of this Verde, which is a good tasting salsa Verde, very fresh. It just, it was not needed. Like just the pure flavor of this pork is so juicy and so moist. I will try with the gujillo just to try it because, okay, that's really good, not gonna lie. But honestly, it doesn't need anything. It is just that perfect. Great accompaniments, really good salsas. I like this, uh, this gujillo one was great. I like this lighter green one. But honestly, I gotta say, an El Paso taco, which needed nothing but just a taco. All right, next up, we're at El Jefe Taqueria. Um, literally, that's, <laughs> there's the other place right there. So just right here. So again, same thing. Let's go get what their best taco is. And they do also have a salsa bar as well. I uh, got the next taco. Their set of favorite was the El Pastor, so we definitely do the El Pastor. Um, this El Pastor is a lot finer chopped. It's not as red as some of the other ones we saw. This is about, the, again, the palm-sized street taco. Got the onion, cilantro, nice, hot, and juicy, that's for sure. They also gave us some caramelized onions. So, you know, the drill will try just a bite by itself. So good richness to the pork. You definitely get that kind of fatty aspect to it. It's a lot lighter flavor than um, kind of the other El Pastor's. So I'm definitely excited to try it with. Um, we'll put on some of these little onions. We'll put on some salsas as well. So we'll try a little bit of the Roja and a little bit of their um, kind of thicker Verde, um, they said. So let's give this a bite. Mm. Mm. So the salsas definitely add a nice bit to it. Um, just very like, I like this, this salsa here. It's chunky, a little fresh. Definitely a nice addition. For me, the onions also added a nice little bit. I, I really like it with the addition of the salsa. I think they really add something to it. The pork itself is quite mildly flavored, but yeah, definitely. So what's so cool about all these Central Ave locations, literally walking from El Jefe to the next stop, which is Taqueria Los Altos de Jalisco. So, that being said, again, super close. And these are definitely, I would say, the more like authentic, kind of traditional street taco slash Mexican style tacos in this area. And then as we get to the other areas, it's gonna be, I think, a little more like Tex-Mex, a little more hip. But anyway, let's head on in again, you know the drill. All right, so we made it in, nice little quaint spot. They have um, tripe, lingua, they have uh, ce uh, cebe cebeza, cebeza, head, um, which are some of my favorites generally. But I, again, same thing, I asked their favorite, they said the asada. So guys, I will say this asada looks definitely incredibly, incredibly juicy. It's nice and fine cut. We got the onions, the cilantro on it. It looks so juicy. Even the tortillas look really juicy, kind of oily. Um, they did give us a lovely, serving of um, fried onions with it. Also a fried jalapeno or grilled jalapeno, I should say. Um, actually, it might be fried. 
Uh, then we got their salsas. They did give me uh, four different kinds. You get more traditional like verde, avocado salsa, spicy, and more traditional roja. You guys, this looks awesome. So let's uh, give this our first bite. So definitely is quite rich. Funny enough, the flavor actually kind of reminds me of like a, almost like a ground beef tasting steak, if that makes sense. It's, um, you definitely get these like grilled, very like grilled bits, almost like crispy. Definitely not bad. Just, I'm not getting too much of a flavor. Like it's not like real strong flavors or seasons to it. It's, it, to me, it seems very just like steak, but it is, it is tender. It is finely cut. I look forward to trying it with, I'll put some of these onions on it. And definitely have a good bite of the jalapeno. Maybe we'll try with a little bit of lime as well. So let's give this a bite. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That's where it's at. So a nice flavor. The salsa's definitely added a really nice bit to it. I think it's just this like this one, this spicy one. And put it with cucumber. See if it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, I really like the flavor of this one. I'm getting like chili, chili arable. Um, ooh, pretty spicy. But I will say, ooh, <laughs> I inhaled it. Good taco. I think the salsa's added a good, really good addition, but the meat was tender, meat was soft. Not bad. All right, our next stop and step number seven, we have El Cameron Cito. So I'm expecting seafood because Cameron's a shrimp. So let's head on in. Again, you know the rules, guys. Uh, maybe this, like I said, if this is seafood, it'll be a little different than everything else so far. Everybody who made it in and uh, asked them their favorite taco, I expected seafood, but nonetheless, we have another asada. So it looks nice. Definitely some uh, like reasonable sized pieces of beef. Again, some of the asada we're getting were really small, some were really big. This is kind of in the middle onions, cilantro on it. This one we actually have an actual lemon, not like a limon, like lime, but an actual lemon. So I'll put a little bit of that on it. And then, oh, I got a seed. And then they uh, did give me a salsa, which smells very good. Let's give it a try. Ooh, ooh, it's, it's, it's picante, mass picante, it's spicy. But you know the drill, guys. This one is definitely a hot, juicy taco. Looking good, so let's give it a bite. Mmm, wow. Definitely, a, it's a nice tasting beef. This is gonna sound funny, but I almost get like a, um, almost like a beef gravy flavor from it. It's good, definitely good. It's nice, it's juicy, it has a really good richness to it. The, I actually like the lemon on The lemon adds a, kind of just it cuts it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try putting some of the uh, salsa on it. It is a really good asada. Um, not like a lot of the uh, asadas I've had like in Mexico. Like I said, I almost get like a, a beef gravy flavor from it. It's good, but let's try this. Let's try this bite with the salsa. I like it. The salsa does add something. It has a really complimentary flavor. The salsa itself is not an overly strong tasting salsa. But there's mm, some kind of like pepper in it, uh, arbol or guajillo, which really adds to the uh, richness and like just the flavor and the overall experience of that as a sod. It really helps balance it out. So yeah, I like it. Who would have thought? El Camaroncito, we have an asada, but it's good. All right, and I think this is stop eight. We have El Rio Bravo Supermarket, guys. So another stop in a market. Anyway, let's uh, head in. I guess they have a restaurant here somewhere. Um, it looks like a pretty traditional supermarket to me, but oh, there's their uh, car, their meat place, Carnesaria. And uh, here we go. I see the restaurant portion down here across on the end. All right, the music's pretty loud, so I'm gonna try to keep this brief. So uh, when I asked their favorites, they said the beef in general. They have two beef options. They have the barbacoa, so we did get something new. And then they also have the asada, which again is the steak. Barbacoa is like a braised uh, beef. Um, I love it here. They gave me again some more of the lovely roasted onions, roasted jalapeno. They have the pickled jalapenos. They have different salsas as well. 
green avocado roja. So, like we said guys, I'll start with the asada because we've had a lot of the asada, but it looks really, really good. I'll try just a bite by itself. Huge portion, by the way. This is the bigger, not just the palm style, but this is the bigger uh, street taco. Hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. Yes, please. That was super, it's super delicious. It's super juicy, great flavors. That is muy bien. I'm gonna put some of this salsa on it, maybe some of the salsa roja. I'm gonna throw some of my favorite pickled jalapenos on here. And uh, I'm gonna grab one of these roasted onions too. I'll try one of these. I'm just gonna try this bite. Wow. Oh my God. The asada guys, they are absolutely right. That beef, great, great, great flavor on it. The addition of that pickled jalapeno is my favorite. The little bit of the salsa roja, which is, is it's, it has a good spice to it. But man, that is right. That beef is dang good. So, next, let's try this delicious barbacoa. This is a braised beef, everybody. This looks amazing as is. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Melt in your mouth. It's like a very stewed beef, nice and soft. It's very lightly flavored, but it's just absolutely fantastic. I'm definitely gonna throw a little bit of salsa on it. I'm gonna try the uh, avocado salsa, a little bit of the roja, and let's try this jalapeno too. I think this would be a great, great, great bite. Oh, and one of these. Give us a shot. That is one of the best bites so far. Just the, the richness of that beef, the soft tenderness, juiciness of it, the acidity of the salsas, that spice, that bite. That was a that was that was amazing. So great to have some diversity. You gotta stop and buy this place. This place, this market is well worthwhile. Alrighty, next stop is Tacos on Wheels which admittingly I was expecting to be a food truck. So this is not a food truck though. I imagine they had a food truck or some sort. All right, everyone, so same thing, we came on in. Uh, guess what we got? Their favorite was the Asada. They actually gave me two. Um, they made these little cute like cones. I like this actually. Make it really good for eating. I'm gonna take it out nonetheless. So style points for sure. Um, they actually pre-dressed it with um, cilantro onions, which I like. We also got on the uh, avocado, and there's some kind of just a, looks like a pico, like traditional kind of house salsa. So, smells really good. You know what to do, we'll give it a bite. They also gave us some pepino y uh, ha uh, jalapenos, and uh, yeah, and some limes. So we'll try the first bite though. Mmm. Okay. Okay. So the beef has like medium sized chunks. Um, they definitely have a little bit more texture than some of the other ones we've had today, but it does have a very good flavor on it. I definitely did like it. I think the, uh, the, the avocado, the guacamole definitely adds something. It's the first one we've had like a real guacamole on it. Cilantro, everything is great. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of lime. And I'm gonna try it with the uh, Ha the jalapeno, I think it'll be a nice addition. Again, the way they dress them, it is very nice, it's a good flavor. Not overly strong, the beef does have a good flavor to it, but like I said, there's no like, on that first bite wasn't anything crazy, crazy flavored that is, like strong flavor. Mm. Jalapeno is a real nice addition. I didn't need the lime, but I did like, I like the, I like the salsa on it. I think the salsa on it is a, is a good addition. So yeah, good taco. Um, when it comes to asada, every other asada taco has been $2. These ones were three. Um, so they are slightly, slightly more, but you do get that um, guacamole on it, which I think was a good addition. 
Um, and then um, I will say that jalapeno guys, shout out to jalapenos, I love them. But man, they're inconsistent. That jalapeno head, my mouth is burning from that one jalapeno. Whereas like, I've eaten other ones today and there's nothing. So spicy jalapenos for sure. All right, stop number 10, Fon Terras. Fon Terras guys. I really thought we were gonna be able to move through these a little quicker. Obviously they're taking some time. This has been basically like, I wanna say it's been two, maybe almost three hours uh, to do these many. So I don't know how, how many we'll actually get to get through. I was hoping for like 30, but we'll see what, what we can do with the limited time. But anyway, let's head in. Get another taco. Huge thanks to everybody here at uh, Fonterra's guys. Uh, Victor, I met one of the owners guys, shout out to him. These look absolutely beautiful, so I got them to go to try to um, speed up the process. But here we have, guys, this asada looks amazing. Like this bite with the avocado, the crema, the queso fresco, tomates. Let's give it a, I'm excited guys, let's give this a bite. Oh my gosh. Mmm, mmm, wow, mmm, mmm, amazing. That avocado, that cheese, guys, oh my gosh. I didn't think I would like cheese on the taco. Oh my gosh, there's that queso fresco, everything. That is an amazing, amazing, amazing bite. I'm not even gonna put sauce on that. It does, it is, you just don't need it. That is fantastic. Now we have the tripe, the tripa. So now this, again, is into fried intestine and more well i think it's fried intestine nonetheless now this is pretty scary to some people but very popular in a lot of cultures so this one is a little bit more basic just the tripe cilantro onions let's give this a bite mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay so first thing i gotta say Tripe like this, trupa, is delicious. It definitely has a texture. It's pretty chewy. But it's supposed to. That's just tripe in general. Great flavor though. Really dark tones. Mm. Really good. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, salsa roja on it. I think it'll just be a nice addition. It's uh it's it's good, it's good flavored, but it's lightly flavored. So let's give it a try with the salsa. Hmm. Wow. We make all the salsas here every day, they said. That salsa, it's good. A lot more tomatoey than I thought it was gonna be. But it's very sweet. A little bit of spice, a little bit of habanero. Good combination with the uh with the tripe but that was absolutely fantastic really liked both of those um it was nice to have the tripe to mix it out and when it came to the asada that i mean just the way they dressed that asada it was so bougie it was so um it was really really nice i really liked that so that asada that taco stands out just because it was it was such an experience it was so much more than you know just a standard beef the next stop i hoped for was slaps barbecue yes slaps barbecue a very well-known barbecue joint in the area, however, um, they only have the ingredients to make the tacos on a Tuesday, otherwise they 100% would do it for me, they said. They were super, super awesome, super nice staff. So you're gonna see them in my barbecue video that I'm gonna do here, because we're gonna definitely eat here. This is one of the, again, the best known barbecues, and supposed to be one of the best in the area, so I'll link that somewhere down below. All right, so we're officially off of Central Ave, and I have a feeling, at least for right now, um, we're gonna get a lot less authentic Mexican, a lot more, kind of more Tex-Mex, E we'll call it. So here we are at Mockingbird Lounge. Um, so yeah, let's head in. Definitely a very different looking place compared to the others so let's go see what they have to offer all right so yeah definitely a very different place compared to the other places more like a lounge cocktail bar great view of the city by the way let me see if i can show you that beautiful view of the city so cool patio to come hang out on um so again we're talking a lot more tex-mex here i the i asked for one of their best tacos they have two options a pork and a chicken they gave me one of each um guacamole on it House made salsa, house made pico. These are a, on a, a flour. They do have a corn option, but like I said, I just said give them however you want, and that's what they did. So let's give this a bite. I think this is the chicken one. Mm. 
That's definitely a chicken one. It's good. It is a braised uh, chicken for sure. Also, they braised the pork. Super soft, super tender. You know, kind of like pulled pork, pulled chicken kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to try to deck these out. I'm going to try, well, the chicken one more specifically. I'm going to put some uh, hot sauce and I'll put some pico on it. I think it'd be a nice addition. The flavor profile I'm getting is a very, like, traditional North American profile. Um, whereas, like, you know, kind of tastes like, you know, a little bit like taco, like North American style taco, if you know what I'm saying. Not a traditional Mexican. But it's, you know, kind of the Tex-Mex rendition. That's what we're getting into more of the taco trail. So let's try it with a little bit of everything. Mm, a lot different than the Mech 2 ones we have. It is really good. I love this hot sauce. This hot sauce is great. Mm, apparently they're going to bottle it. It has a little bit of smoke to it. It is, it is moist, juicy, and seasoned and flavored without the sauces. But I like flavors, so good way to do it. All right, so the next location is going to be Tia Mojares. It is 3.30. They closed at 3. Dang it, guys. I'm disappointed we're running late. But on to the next location, guys. All right, so our next stop, we just arrived at Taqueria El Camino Real, Real um, which is apparently one of a local's favorites. I just met the guy, and he's like, you got to go here. So good thing we're going here. So this is the first place that I've been that actually has... They have a trumpo. They have a trumpo right there. If you can see, there's the trumpo. It's obviously heavy shaded, but nonetheless, kind of cool to see that. Again, every other one has been uh, kind of flat top done, but trumpo nonetheless. All right, so I got the taco from El Camino Real. They made it really easy on us. Um, literally, just like, you're, I barely even said, like, your best taco, like El Pastor, uh, which is on the trumpo. And then was actually really cool. They actually make their tortillas in house. That's super impressive. So house made tortilla, you can kind of see it. You can see it looks a little different than a conventional one. Um, that being said, they said cilantro onions. I said yes. And then the only other thing they asked was do you want hot sauce? So I said, sure. So it's already sauced. Definitely looks nice and tasty there. I will say that is a good looking bite. Um, the tortillas look nice and soft and thin. Give them a bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Woo! Honestly, I would say everything in that bite is delicious. Should we get the uh, the pineapple? The little bits of that pineapple in there. The um, super savoriness of that pork. There's guajillo pepper for sure. But a little bit of sweetness from the pineapple. The um, hot sauce or the salsa, whatever you want to call it. It had some real, I was just like chipotle in it, super smoky. Not, not like, not really that spicy to be honest. I have a little bit of it just right here. Yeah, Chipotle, not that spicy, but very, very, very good. Again, this is a very different El Pastor than like some of the ones we saw, but this is fantastic. And I guess it is tortilla. This is the best tortilla we've had all day. And um, yeah, honestly, this is really, really, really high ranking. I just wish I had more of the hot sauce. More bam. El Camino Real. Next stop on Minnesota Ave, we have Las Palmas. Las Palmas. Restaurant, Central American and Mexican cuisine. All right, Las Palmas. The Palms, the Palms restaurant. So again, their favorite was the carne asada, the steak. So we got some nice fine chops bits of steak. Super nice and juicy looking. Um, onions, cilantro, the tortillas look nice and soft, so let's give it a bite. Mmm. 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 Good beef flavor. A little bit of salt to it, pretty mild, but really rich fatty. Honestly, I think the best way to describe that is just like simplicity at its best. Like, it's nothing special, it's not overly flavored or seasoned or spicy. But it just tastes really, really good. Now I do have this green salsa here. So I'm gonna dump that over a taco here. And let's try it with that. With that salsa. Give it a go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Amazing. I wonder if there's peanut in that. Mmm. Whatever it is. Really good. My favorite real kind of salsa. Super delicious, nice bit of spice. The salsa definitely, like, it just changes it, but it's not needed. That carne asada chocolate by itself was really good. I think, again, just like, 
simplicity at its best. You don't need anything more to it. But I did really like that salsa, so. It's another good one. Alrighty, one well, next we're outside Gigi's. Yes, Gigi's Barbacoa Bidia. Bidia Cafe, guys. People love Bidia. It's like a stewed seasoned beef served with Cosume, which is like beef drippings. Usually cheese in the tortilla as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting pretty tacoed out. I don't think I ever thought I would say I've had enough tacos, guys, but I've had a lot, a lot of tacos today. I believe this is stop 14 which I need to uh, remember to keep checking in on the app because uh, once we get to 15, we get the next, uh, we get the t-shirt or the prize or whatever. So, holy crap. Let's, uh, let's head on in. Let's, again, you know the drill. All right, everyone, so we made it into Gigi's. Again, the first video, I'm super excited. This will definitely be a bit of a change. Again, we have had some barbacoa, but this looks delicious. So we have all the cheese in there. A lot of people like the cheese. I'm sure it's good with and without, like definitely specializing in that beef. Again, the fried. Uh, basically tortillas if you want to see a cross section this is a really that's a really good cross section there we then have the consomme which is basically the beef drippings the juice and I uh, got some of their salsa verde avocado base they also have a uh, house made chili oil here but give this a one bite mm. Woo, super rich lots of cheese on it but it's a really good flavor and then of course the media in the consomme that's what everybody wants right there. So now let's try that. Mm. Nice and hot. Super rich, savory flavors. Mm. I'm gonna try this with the uh, chili oil and the salsa. It's very, very good. Super rich though. And I think that, that salsa and that chili will really help break it up. All right, I got some of the chili oil. I put some salsa on this one as well. Give that a bite. Mmm, woo, very flavorful. That chili is great. Give it a dip. Mmm, mm. onion, cilantro. Mmm, that was the flavor right there. And a little bit of everything. Amazing, I like it. Very good, oh. Jalapeno. And here we go again. Bonito, Michoacan, Fruteria, Taqueria. Holy jumpets, we're gonna blow away here in a second. That being said, guys, I can see the tacos, the restaurant right behind me. So, whoo, you know the drill. But, uh, wow, I am, I am tacoed out. There has been no shortage of tacos. I'm pretty tacoed out. Got him making some tacos. And we also have a salsa bar, which you know I am a fan of. And we also just checked in to Bonito Michoacan. All right, so fun fact, guys, guess what? They said their favorite this time was pollo, the chicken. So we got our first chicken taco. By the way, we're now like basically four and a half hours of tacos, which is insane. So we got a double wrapped tortilla. She did put lots of chicken on here. It actually looks kind of like crispy, but let's give this a bite. Mm. Big bite. Hmm. Interesting. Very different. So you see there's like a, a yellowness to that chicken. It's actually like, there's definitely some curry on it, which I did not expect. I did have their salsa verde here. I'll put that on it. Get some of that on there. Looks good. Of course they have the salsa bar. And my favorite pickled jalapenos. Some pico, some onions. Put that on. Oh yeah guys, that looks. That looks delicious, looks like a rainbow. You give it a bite? Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Very good. So yeah, really interesting. I didn't expect the curry. Um, definitely a interesting. I've never had a chicken taco with curry on it, especially like from a Mexican place. But it was very good. Um, when I put in that little bit of that salsa, 
um, which was pretty spicy with the pickled jalapeno, um, the onions, it took it to a whole other world. With all those toppings, it was very, very delicious. Um, by itself, it definitely wasn't bad. It just was a very unique, you know, kind of flavor. Um, so yeah, our first chicken taco, I liked it. It was good. Oh man, that's, uh, well, I'll tell you guys, we're, I, I, I again, anticipated this to be three hours. We're almost at, like I said, four and a half or five. We're running out of time. So we'll see how many more of these taco places we can actually get to. Five hours into tacos and chill. We're outside tacos, guiros, 100% Michicanos. Guys, I am, I am actually dying. I am so full of tacos. So this is gonna be one of the last stops. You know what's up. Let's go on in. All right, I feel like we've had a thousand tacos today, but we have some new favorites. So what those really cool. So we actually got our first lingua. So lingua is tongue. That being said, it's cooked nice and soft. It looks really delicious. I've had it before, I really like it, but it is scary to some people. And then we have a bidia again. So both these are actually, the tortillas were dipped in consume, which we also have right here, basically beef drippings. Um, then they are cooked with a queso. So both of these have cheese in the tortillas. They traditionally then saw, uh, top them with beans and then the cilantro and uh, onions. So I just asked them, you know, hey, give them me as you will. Um, so let's try it first, the lingua. So again, and the way that they do this here is they do put it in the consomme, both the lingua and the other one, but I'll try it just first by itself. Mm. So the lingua is a really nice flavor. It's a very like deep, beefy tone. It almost reminds me of um, like this much liver taste. Try it in this consomme, which looks really, really delicious. Mm. Woo. Hot, rich, very, very good. And I actually had my battery die on the camera, so I'll hop on my phone real quick. And this is the actual uh, bidia. This is the like the beef, the uh, barbacoa. So again, we'll dip that in that consomme, nice and drippy. Mmm, wow, really nice flavor. I just like a medium level of flavor when it comes to a bidia. That consomme is really, really good. I love the spices on there. I love the flavor. Really good though. Definitely recommend. The lingo is a nice change. Again, it's not scary, it tastes great, it tastes just kind of beefy, nice deep beef tone. And then uh, the, uh, the bidia, the bidia de res, the beef uh, barbacoa bidia with the consomme, the delicious juice, very, very, very good. All right, everyone, well, the next stop on the list was this uh, Minguel's, Miguel's Catering and Restaurant, but they are definitely closed right now. Man, I gotta say guys, I am so tacoed out. I think that's 16 places. I mean, there's like 50 taco places on this trail, but man, you cannot do them all in a day. This is a lot, that's nuts. Um, so yeah, I think this, we're gonna call it quits guys, 16, plus a lot of these places, they, you know, honestly, often I ask for one, they give me two tacos anyway. So huge thanks to everybody. Your generosity has been unfound. Um, like I said, I think I'm gonna call it quits though guys. I feel like I almost got like, I don't know, taco headache, is that a thing? But basically everybody, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Huge thanks to all of Kansas City. It's been awesome so far. Huge thanks to all the restaurants that were in this video. Um, you know, again, the average price of a taco was two bucks, some were three. I pretty much noted if there was any exception. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's about it guys. Super delicious. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Definitely the taco trail is a feat to be had. Maybe you can do it in a week, maybe a month, or if you live here, do it in a year. But uh, yeah, really cool guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let me know down below, comment, subscribe. Um, and that's about that. So of course the next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Don't eat this many tacos in one day. And I mean, it's a feat to try to hit up however many restaurants. So there goes, I think 16 is what we got because the closures and whatever. So till next time everybody, have a lovely day.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.